Praise God. This is Reverend Dr. Catherine Lovett from Moments of Miracles Mom. And on today, we're just going to start with prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word on today. We thank you for life. We thank you for liberty. Father, we thank you for America and for the president. We thank you for Israel, Jerusalem. Father, and we ask you to have peace, to cause peace in Jerusalem, and to keep our borders safe here in America, too. And we just want to just thank you and praise you for blessing all the nations under your banner, Father, under your heavens. We ask that you allow them to come to you. In Jesus' mighty name. And as you can see today, I'm a little hoarse, you know, but um, I'm binding that hoarseness right up in the name of Jesus, and we're going to finish this work. Today, we are coming from Proverbs 31, 1 through 9, the word of King Lemur, the prophecy that his mother taught him, what my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vow, give not thy strength unto women nor thy way to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemur, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for prince strong drink. These they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the inflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all, such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and the needy. That is the reading of the word, and the word is blessed by itself. Praise God. So our theme on today is a mother's word to her son. A mother's word to her son. My son, you are a potential king. You are a potential king. The word of King Lemur, the utterance which his mother taught him. What, my son, and what, son of my womb? I borned you. And what, son of my vow? I kept my oath to your dad. I helped raise you, and you shall respect me. Do not give your strength to women. It takes more strength to manage anger than it does to manage love. So love. It takes more strength to juggle two or more relationships than it does to manage one. So love one woman at a time. Mind thy ways. That which destroyeth kings, such as disrespecting your wife or other women. God placed one man with one woman to prevent chaos and confusion. But the world will tell you different. It takes more strength to keep up a lie than rather telling the truth. So tell the truth. Man up, for God says. It is not for kings, O Lemur. It is not for kings, my son, to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink or use drugs, such as marijuana, heroin, ashy, cocaine, crack, molly, steroids, beer, alcohol. Every son is a potential king to his mother. So don't drink or drug. Praise God. At least you drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of all the afflicted. Be honest in all your dealings through the lust of the eyes by fornicating, committing adultery and incest by stealing from the poor, by not keeping your word, and breaking contractual agreements. All this is against God's law, which man has copied 
for governmental purposes. Give strong drink to him who is perishing, a person that has no ambition to make something of themselves, a person that have no family and no God. Let him drink and drug to forget his poverty, forget his hunger, forget his pain. Let him drink and drug to fade away and remember his misery no more. The choice is yours, my son. Let your behavior demonstrate the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Open your mouth for the speechless, my son, in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Proclaim the righteousness of Jesus and let them decide whether to live eternally with God or the devil that hides. It's their choice. Open your mouth. Judge righteously. Which road will you choose? For you are standing at a crossroad. And straight and narrow is the way into his everlasting arms. So it is for kings, my son, to plead the cause of the poor and needy. Let them educate themselves about what is going on in their community, their schools, their churches, and their political arenas. Jesus came and taught us, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, pay your taxes, be productive citizens, be a person of good report. Let no one speak evil about the good you do. Be respectful, honest, loyal, and trustworthy too. So when you do good deeds in your community and you are willing to do the right among your neighbors, you are giving God the glory to him. Just because people can see the God in you and want to have God within themselves just because they watch you. Praise God. These are the words a mother gave her son. Praise God. So young man, we want to turn to Psalm 82 and 6. I have said, ye are God, and all of you are children of the most high God. Jesus restates this in John 10, 34. Is it not written in your law, I say, ye are gods, gods with a little g. So young men, remember Jesus' word and act accordingly. Amen. A mother's word to her son, trust in God. This is Reverend Dr. Catherine Weathers from Moments of Miracles Mom, signing out. Have a blessed day.